We've already looked at turning a floating point binary number into a normal number. Now let's look at a negative normal number and let's try and turn it into a binary floating point number using two's complement. We're going to use an 8-bit number. I've started off by writing down the positive representation of 113. And the first part of the two's complement is to flip the number over, reversing all the ones and zeros. And then you add one to the answer. And we end up with a reflection of the positive number, plus one. Examine this table. You can see all of the negative numbers start with a one, highlighted in pink. Notice how the negative numbers are reflections of the positive numbers, plus one. Now we need to calculate how far back the decimal place needs to go. That's seven here. It's a positive number, so we start with a zero, and we can just squeeze seven into the three remaining bits. That was close. I hope you found that useful. This question was uh, taken from a International Baccalaureate Higher Level Paper 2.